So this is going to be the eighth year of the festival, and we're really excited about it. It's um, going to be a celebration of the old New Year's from the Orthodox Europe. So, And this year it's called the Return of the Vikings. We're going to have... Um, all kinds of programming. We have the Ice and Snow Kingdom in the back with slides and skating and all kinds of fun activities for kids and behind the community hall on Alberta Avenue. And uh, we have an Aboriginal village that's going to have teepees and winter activities that are traditional. I guess it's going to be um, snowshoe crafts. They're going to be making snowshoes. They're going to be doing snowshoeing. They're going to get taught how to do that. And um, our, that's in partnership with the Bent Arrow Traditional Healing Society. And then there's going to be storytelling as well. So that should be really nice. Um, we also have negotiations underway for a bunch of special musical acts that we're going to have in, in the Aboriginal village as well. So those are secret right now, but I think it's going to be a wonderful weekend with music and dance and everything going on there. So. Aboriginal culture will go all weekend long, so there will be overlaps in everything. So we have a stage that's going to be inside a giant inflated tent outside. That will be one of the main stages. And the other main stage, which will have music and dance as well, will be in the community hall on Albert Avenue. So, All right, Allison, and are you still looking for volunteers for uh, Deep Freeze? Yes, absolutely. We, we've had a good response this year. It's been not wonderful, but we could use probably another 50 or 60 more volunteers. It's not all outside work. You can say whether you want to be indoors or outdoors, but um, and we never let anybody freeze, so you get lots of breaks and fed very well. This is a big uh, family event uh, right after Christmas in uh, January 10th and 11th. Over the years, how has this festival grown in your eyes? Um, well, this is my first year as the pro- the producer. Last year I worked at the art gallery on the Deep Freeze Festival, but um, last year it was so warm. I don't know if you remember, it was just like the, all the snow turned to, into water and slush, and there was huge attendance last year. So we're hoping that it doesn't get really cold this year, but um, I think the community has grown to appreciate how how wonderful this event is and how it brings people from all over that area as well as other parts of Edmonton to come and participate and sort of see the wonderful culture and many cultures that exist on 118th Avenue. So I think it's and it's grown from last year and we've had so much interest this year that I think whether barring bad weather, I think it's going to be a record year this year. I took the kid last year to that and the thing I like most about Deep Freeze that it's free. Yeah, well, that's it. It's a community event, and, and you know, the food that's going to be sold at the concession stand, stands on Saturday and Sunday is cultural. Like, Saturday will be Ukrainian food sold there, and Sunday it'll be Francophone. And community volunteers come and cook that food for the whole 10 days before the festival starts. So it's just, you know, it's, it's such a community effort, and it's uh, held very close to members of the community's hearts as well. Okay, and if people need more information or to uh, volunteer, where can they go? Email me at deepfreezeproducer at gmail.com or go to our website, which is deepfreezefest.ca. And there's everything you need to know about volunteering or participating in any way. Okay, Allison, appreciate your time. Okay, thanks, Jeremy.